What is up guys? Um thought I'd just make another video quick of uh this week's hauls. Um not too much, a little bit. Um I think I got maybe one bit on eBay. The rest from the store. So I'll probably on me instead of reaching out So um I don't know if you remember, but the last time I said in the previous video, I just got a massive box of Ultimate stuff. Um, I'm still reading it, still yet to make a video on it, I will do this. Um, but, because I haven't done that yet, um, I'm sorry, um, I'm going to read them first, so I can have some sort of insight into them. The problem is about 200 comics, um, and some of these comics are the Ultimates, um, and because of this, I've decided, uh, I, I love the Ultimates. Uh, I've read one, volumes one, two, and three. I'm just getting on to like, like I guess like I call it the second wave of Ultimates. So I'm just going to get around to that. Um, but yeah, so I've decided I'm going to collect the new Ultimates as well. Issue 24. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got many of this story out. Um, 25. So 26. And 27. From what I count, um, they're good issues. It's a good story. However, I won't, I will not read it until I've got uh, the previous. I think I've got issue 20 in here somewhere as well. I'm not going to read this until I've uh, caught up with the other backlog series and uh, and also once I've got the the film issues up to this. Um, I don't like reading things. I like reading everything in continuity. And um, it's just where I am. She is, is, that's what I like to do. Um, but yeah, this is another book I picked up. Um, issue 14, All New X Men. I love this book. Um, it's just the way it's development is brilliant. Um, the art's good, the writing's brilliant. Um, the stories always really seem to be very quick, but I think that's a testament to how well written it is. Um, and it's like classic X-Men um, it's classic X-Men team doing classic X-Men stuff oh, if you're not all new X-Men, if you're not getting it get it um, next pickup was Uncanny Avengers issue 8 uh, this was the Age of Ultron time even though Age of Ultron was crap you know, what, what I say is the first six issues were very good. I liked the first six issues and I thought it had great potential. From there on in, it was shit. Apart from, I quite liked issue 10.1 with Bank Hampton, that's right. But, like an arsehole and like a completist that we are, um, I've been trying to get the complete run. Um, stupid, I don't know. Uh, it was issue 20 I was talking about. Uh, where do I pick that one up? Random, it's got it from somewhere. Next up is one of my ongoing week, uh, monthlies. Um, Thor, God of Thunder, issue 10. Um, this is, I think, the, this is almost the uh, the next issue, I think, maybe the last issue of um, God Bomb. So this is God Bomb Part 4. I was disappointed with this book a little bit, um, not because the art was bad, because the art is always amazing on this book. Let's look at the front cover. Oh, it's always amazing on this on this book, and the writing is really well. But for me, it felt like an extension of issue nine. Um, to be honest, there wasn't a lot more added in this issue. This issue that was added in issue nine. So for me, you could almost melt it into two books and made one issue so that's just me I still love it still gonna get it and uh, still enjoying the story I just felt a bit of a letdown having to wait for the next issue to find out it was really just an extension of the last um, but good get it if you're not getting it why not um, being Superior Spider-Man month I picked up oh, Superior Carnage issue 1 um, it was alright the art was okay Storyline, well, there wasn't one really much of a storyline to begin with um, until the last few pages. And 
No, it's good. Um, I reckon pick it up. It's the first issue anyway. I mean, pick up the first issue's first print, why not? It has um has some retro characters in it which I quite like. I like the fact that Marvel will try and use some older characters that have been overlooked in the past, um, giving them some integrity and some uh, something to do. But yeah, Spirit Carnage, it was okay. Um, next up was um, Part 2 of Trinity War. And it's Just League of America, issue 6. Cool covers. Um, DC are doing some amazing covers right now. I, I love even though I don't like the characters, I go walk past the books and just admire the front covers. And I've bought some covers, some books for just the front covers, and they're that good. Um, as far as the story goes, it was a continu continuation of the first part. Um, they basically stopped fighting. Um, they rescue, not rescue, um, they take Superman into custody. He's feeling all remorseful um, about what he's done. Because, um, you know, Superman doesn't kill. And, um,. Batman's trying to prove that it wasn't Superman's fault, while Wonder Woman's trying to prove that it was the Pandora's box that made Superman do it, and she goes off on a little journey to try and find Pandora's box, or the maker of Pandora's box, um, to no avail. Um, Batman's just trying to get Cyborg doing an autopsy to prove that it wasn't Superman's fault. Um, meanwhile, um, Phantom Stranger, um, he comes in at the issue basically asking questions and stuff um, and he basically breaks Superman out again because he wants to ask Superman a question um, and interestingly as well um, Superman keeps coughing but he's saying he doesn't feel very well and feels sick so I'm sure that's going to play a future role um, in the coming issues but overall it was it was okay it was good I've got a feeling this is going to be a good storyline um, but ultimately it probably plays better if it's um, uh, in a trade, I think this is going to be a really good trade pickup. But you know, it's very good. Um, I'd pick it up. You know, sometimes what I, I do is um, I click the whole story arc and I just you know I read it as a trade, but it's single issues. Um, but yeah, Trinity War. Um, so far, I'm liking it. You know, it's not going to test your brain by any means, but it's good. Next up, we have Savage Wolverine Seven. I've decided that this is my own pickups. Now, I don't, I've heard people saying they don't like this new run Wolverine. I tell you, I'm fucking loving it. This is why I'm picking up the book. The art in this book is amazing. I think it's amazing. I mean, people are going to probably think it's shit, but amazing how I'm loving the, the way they put Electro and King here into it. It's a good storyline. Um, um, this is a great read. This is what comics are about. You know? Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Pick it up. Then I've got two books here. Um, it's Prelude to Infinity. Uh, and it's... Uh, what's he got here? Avengers 50. With a Black Widow with an enormous boobs on it. I think the size of the thing. And then Prelude to Infinity. Which is 16 with the whole button like her. We should go get the seat on the last few panels, the last few pages, should I say. It's okay. Um, they could have made this a lot clearer. And basically, in a nutshell, there was some ancient artifact on Earth that AIM had woken up. Um, is it an artifact or a person? We don't know. But basically, AIM uh, had woken up. It sent a message across the universe to some big bag who's then sent some back to Earth to basically destroy Earth and Avengers is trying to take it on. Um, that's it in a nutshell. But obviously there's bits in between. It's okay. It's, um, I'm just wondering when we get to the main story, is it do we need all this? I don't know. But it's good. Pick it up. A really good book. Um, better than the main event itself. Um, what if Avengers vs X-Men issue 2? They should have just released this. This should have been the main storyline, if I was going to say. Um, it's good. So it basically, it opens up where it left off with um, Magneto destroyed um, a helicarrier. And uh, they're, they're fighting each other until Captain America says, Oi, stop fighting each other. Let's save each other. And so they basically pretend they pursue and uh, save each other's uh, lives. Because, you know, helicarrier destroyed the sky. Falcon dies. 
uh, Prince and Mark goes off somewhere and beats the crap out of Wolverine. And um, while this is happening, Magneto and the Frost then hope have escaped to the moon where uh, they're going to be greeted by the Phoenix Force. Um, but standing away is uh, Nova, Black Panther, who else is it? Uh, Thor, Ms. Marvel, Vision. They're trying to stop the Phoenix Force before it gets to the moon and gets to Hope. And oh, there's a, it's a brilliant fight with um, Thor and the Phoenix Force. Needless to say, Thor gets his ass kicked. But honestly, pick it up. This is better than the main event itself. Buy it. Another great book at the moment, Thanos Rising, issue 4. Um, the Journey of a Madman. Amazing. Um, yeah, you always get the feeling that he's a, he's a, he's a madman. And, um, but you always think he's calculating with it. You know, there's a purpose to his being mad. No, there's not. In this issue, it just shows you he is a madman. He is a nutter. And, uh, you get a kind of new respect to this guy. Um, awesome, awesome book. Pick it up. So, it left me with a couple, bought a couple of trades this week. Um, one of which, this one I got off eBay and I paid £4 for, including postage. £4. Now, it's volume one, Uncanny Avengers. Um, it's the British version. Yeah, it's got pounds on side. I don't really like the ones, the British version, but I tend to put these stupid borders down the bottom and stuff. But, Four pounding and argue. Um, well, I've been wanting to read some of the Uncanny Avengers for some time. I haven't really read much Marvel now, Avengers stuff. And it's something I want to get into because I like the cool characters. Um, to be honest with you, I think it's going to be something I pick up in trades only. Um, just because I've got so many pool books on my pool list at the moment. I can't afford to keep adding more. But, you know, get the trades every now and then. There's no problem with that. Um, so it's called The Red Shadow. Now, yeah, you can see on the back that's got the Red Skull on there. So instantly, I know it's a Red Skull story. Um, however, wow, um, I really enjoyed this. They've taken Red Skull to the next level. And you're thinking, well, how can we do that? Is this Red Skull, Captain America, yada, yada, yada? No. They take part, of, they dig Professor Xavier up out of the ground, take part of his brain, put it in Red Skull. And now Red Skull has Xavier's powers. And he's basically mind controlling everyone and getting everyone to kill mutants. Mutants are the new Jews, so to speak, as far as Red Skull's concerned. He wants to eradicate the Earth of the mutants. Because um, they're the new scourge of the planet. And he's, he, he is bad. He is pretty much almost unstoppable. Um, and at the end of it, he escapes. So we know we haven't seen the last of this guy. Um, and I think he's going to be the main protagonist uh, for Uncanny Avengers. I don't know. I haven't read any more. Um, I'm going to though now because I really enjoyed this. Um, it's a four pound. Pick it up. This um, great book. You know, Risk of its hand dropped off. Doesn't even blink. And the second trade I picked up was Dark Knight, Volume One. Uh, what's it called? Night Terrors. It's all right book. Picking up anything Batman's generally not bad, is it? Um, but what I will say is, is the storyline doesn't conclude in this, this really. Um, it just pretty much opens up for another storyline, like all good books do. But in a nutshell, imagine if someone was giving um, Batman's super foes, um, Bane's Venom virus, and Poison Ivy's uh, mind control, so to speak. And they basically mix the two toxins together to make a super toxin. Which injects people, and they get all like hulked out, and big and violent and really hard, um, and then they die. And that's been going around through the, the Batman universe. Flash gets involved in it. He has to keep running around the Earth really fast so he doesn't die. And it's good. It's a good book. Um, pick it up for. You know, I would suggest if you can find this on eBay, a little bit cheap. Buy it that way. Um, I wouldn't go out and pay top dollar for it straight away. Wait a little while. Um, you know, the art on it's brilliantly, you know. Um, and I am, I will say, I'm looking forward to volume two. But 
that's just my thoughts. So yeah, that's my pickups this week, um, and some of my thoughts on some of the books. I haven't read them all. Um, I've read some of them, and I see they are good. Um, and they're all good because I'm buying them otherwise, but some are better than others. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, any questions? Please feel free to ask. Um, I will. I will get around to making this ultimate uh, video um, and showing you what I bought. But oh my god, there's like 200 books, and it's going to be a very long video. And I'm not sure how to make the video. Maybe I'll do it in two parts, three parts, who knows? Um, we'll see. Um, but that's it. Okay. Until next time, folks.